it is match point for SK Telecom. All they need to do is win one more game in the last three, and they will be your spring champions. SKT fans are so loud. Into her red and eventually maybe look to make a dive. Well, it might be clear to come in first. Exactly right. Get oh. the flash knock up. And Viper should be going down. The hands just has to watch as the Talia bites the dust. Two and a half minutes. Well, it looks like Griffin do want to be able to get themselves some more turret plates. Lahens didn't have the passive up just yet as there's the cocoon landing onto Clint. Doesn't take a lot of damage, but gets over to the blast cone with a really nice repel. SKT have to show their hand on where their jungler is, but Griffin did the same. With both reading the same textbook and the SKT one, spoilers, it ends with a victory. If they could outlast Griffin's aggression, how about we send in more bad guys, says Griffin. This is some outnumbered stuff. This is an action movie. This yeah. is thick and fast action. If at first you don't succeed, Send more dudes, is uh, the theory here for Griffin. They'll take a Gromp. Chovy's waiting. Clid's also waiting. Faker's farming so minions. Desperate. Chovy wants to come in, gets himself a Cataclysm. But otherwise, it's just a Gromp and a turret plate. Pantheon, 1,600 right, gold <laughs> from farming. It's <laughs> Pantheon's CS. Best. How does he have 90 CS? Because literally, they tried to turret die oh at the enemy hero lane 800,000 times. <laughs> they did do that. So Pantheon got to farm very easily, <laughs> Atlas. It was on the screen. <laughs> I feel like that should have never happened. We were too busy talking about MMOs and things like that. As uh, Tarzan and Clint are once again going to find one another, that is great reaction time there from Tarzan, who wants to get the cocoon off, lands it, but that's on a minion. It's not what you want, and that's the second kill for SKT. The flash from Lahan once. Clint did out. so much damn damage, but just not enough. A hundred health. <laughs> hey, but this hasn't happened yet. <laughs> right? Weld Ender does come out on the top side of the map as Khan hasn't used his yet. They're trying to fight this one out. Sword should be able to get there. Wind Slash comes in, but it's not late enough. Look at that health bar. Gets himself the shield. Not enough. Sword gets the 1v1 solo kill. It's once again something to only keep them in the conversation, but at least the conversation isn't over at the 10 minute mark of game number three. We take a look at this replay, and you can see that Khan's handshaking something he can't win, which is very uncharacteristic of him. He's trying to wait out World Ender and gets the calculation yeah. off, and then by the end, he can't escape, so he's dead. But all we can say is all the information was present. He misplays it. A rare, nice moment. It's nice to hear some clear comms. They're definitely not pulling on it. That was the most adorable half smile I've ever seen. You've got to keep this up anytime you fall away. Late oh. game is not your friend. Whoa, okay, Clid. He's going to turn up. Toby gets in here, wants to find an alternate position, throws it out. Doesn't land it on the clip, but there's the Abdark. We've got the man drop. Lahens doesn't land the damage, but Clint has nowhere to go, and Faker can't affect anything now. So SKT are right to largely be in defensive mode. That changes when Seraphs transforms and second item completions means you can't play the lanes the same way. Well, that's going to be the knockup. That's going to be the stun. There's so much CC, but the seismic shove isn't enough. Aftershock is there for Faker, remember, and they turn it completely on its head. Thought he's doing a lot of damage. Clint has to flash to get out. World Ender, probably not going to be enough here to save Sword's life. Gets the flash. Uncle Dash gets him out of there. Flash forward from Faker, though. Avoids and destroys as SKT turn it around. Classic Faker eyes. They make the turn. They read Griffin. And this might be the straw that finally breaks the backs of Griffin. Yeah, well, oh, Tarzan Tarzan. getting it turned around on him as well. The stopwatch is there. They've got such low health bars. Great flash from Tarzan. He was mashing hard enough as SKT. They get out of there with the Realm Warp, and they get themselves into the Dragon. Pit. Teddy's thinking to himself, ha ha, great job, guys. He's <laughs> 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 just idly sitting up there, chipping away at the turret. He's got, thinking uh, he's, about no, he's like, days. I've got a global ultimate, guys. It's How okay. Far he's just come. make sure you fight them in a specific area. As Lahens turns up and says, this is my area, immediate cleanse. But the Ignite comes in afterwards. Aftershock from solo kill. For the Herald is going to be looking to raise the mid-tier one turret. SK Telecom can recognize, hey, 
we're not gonna lose the game over a hundred gold. We don't have to fight if we don't want to. Well, Khan, he's gonna start a fight here, but just immediately gets evaporated. Clint now tries to get out, locks himself in with the Cataclysm, and it's Teddy here with the damage. The Silas is going to fall. The Black Lord from Lahem gets a double on this Pantheon. Teddy turns it, gets himself the stun. Knockup comes in, and that's another one. Viper finally getting in amongst this fight. There's another one going in the mid lane, though, and Sword gets rid of Faker. Viper now trying to get out as Teddy is turning it now. It's his turn to carry. Gets another one. Sword, can he get the 1v1? SK Telecom don't need to handshake this team fight. This is what Griffin wants. This is where they flourish at this point in the game. With Khan deleted, Teddy had to be a hero. He ended up missing one Mystic shot, but after that, Viper dodges one more, but Teddy still shows up really big to salvage the remain oh. of this team fight. Sword not quite able to clip him right at the very end there. And the teleport came in shortly thereafter. It's looking over the both sides of this fight. It's really important that Sword's ult negated how strong Faker was as a frontliner that just turns around damage and kills you with Aftershock Prop. It's important that Sword got this solo kill. Teddy's still too strong, too early. The Whoa. teleport comes in. Sword, where you going, mate? Yep, I don't know. Khan is going to be here. Umbral Dash going to be available. This is really He's a wall. sneaky. Oh, oh my oh. god! He does it! You could not have timed that better! Well, Tarzan's gonna try and make this a 50-50. Sword diving on forward. There's the man drop. Weaver's wall. All of the buttons have been pressed. Sword going down to the world end of the AoE's finally getting in there. Lahan's not doing enough damage. And Khan says the last fight was an illusion. This is a double kill. Make it a triple as Toby tries to get out and just finds the backhand of an Ezreal. And maybe 2018's an illusion because SK Telecom T1, they want a rampage to close out this series and go to MSR. And they're swimming right up yeah. the river to this Baron. They're charging right towards the Baron and Griffin are gonna have to watch with a gray screen as it goes over to SK Telecom. Team fight breaks out, doesn't matter if the Avengers are here or not. SK Telecom's team composition is too durable, too tanky, and Griffin are too slow to the fight. As surprising as that is, Kobe's helping, not helping enough. Teddy wasn't there to start the fight, so Griffin says, well, we got rid of the guy who ruined us last time. Let's just try and fight without him. They still lose. That was an absolute massacre. After Khan was honestly just a free kill in the last team fight that was still even. And then there's the man on your screen screaming at least. I don't even think he's really going to be able to pick that one up. Teddy's equal level with the enemy top laner as they're starting to push this one forward. Tarzan makes his way down. The Silas is trying to get back to base to buy some sort of item. Chobi has been pretty forgettable this game. It hasn't been a competitive series. Game one was a lot of fun. It was a really good performance yeah, that on was both a good sides. Series. But now the next two, forgettable. Well, oh. Riven is still going to try and find it here. Mandrop comes down. Repel is up. Lahan finds the flash. Jumps onto Teddy, but Teddy's out of there. Can he create enough distance? And Chovy has locked down Marta, but is it actually going to be enough? Well, Khan gets in, has himself the triple knockoff. Dives forward. It's going to be Teddy that grabs that first kill for SKT. And now Khan is just sweeping this one under the rug. It's all too much. Faker finally gets himself one of these in these team fights, and Viper has nowhere he can be on the map. It felt like I was looking at Ghosts of Christmas Past and what this game could have been. Yep. They outnumbered it, it was the perfect play, but there's just too much gold on SKT. That's called smacking him with your wallet, Papa Whoa. Smitty. As uh, True Shot Barrage, not going to work. The Viper's still for a long time. See your death and see your defeat in the LCK final for Spring 2019. Spring often does this to us, gentlemen. We often get the quick ones in the early stages of the year, but this is one that I don't think anyone expected. SKT 3-0 over Griffin after their incredible first round robin. Give them their moment to bask in the afterglow. SKT have destroyed Team Griffin to register their spot at the Mid-Season Invitational and also their return to the LCK Grand Final after a forgettable year where many people jumped off.
the SKT hype train. They return in emphatic fashion. And all I can come away with is to ruminate on the fact that Korea has had a real half a decade of dominance. So are you restless? Each night you